I woke up this morning, put YouTube on, and I watched a really interesting bit video by Growing Bonsai with Yeller. And he was talking about collecting seeds. So he went out collecting and showing you all the different types of seeds and trees and stuff. Really interesting video, definitely worth a watch. Uh, and it's just coincidental that I actually went out yesterday morning, went for a, a walk in my local park and collected a loads of, seed, loads of seeds myself. I didn't film it, but I just thought I'd show you my haul. I'll start off with these. And I actually got these off a tree that grows on the side of the road. It's a beautiful tree. I've no idea what it is though. But it's got these lovely big berries and you know, not, not huge leaves. So uh, I thought, let's grab a few. I presume the seeds are inside these. So I thought I'll just basically see see what they are. If anyone knows what these are, it'd be great if you could let me know in the comments. They've got like a, oh, a single, oh no, there's a, a couple of black seeds or dark seeds in the center. Just one really, one seed. Might be like that in every one, is it? Yeah, it's like one dark seed in the center of each one, so I won't I won't go through every every one. Just as I'm doing this, well, there's a couple in there. I thought I'd smell it, and as I've smelt this, it's definitely a cherry. It's some type of cherry because it just smells. I'm not going to try it, obviously, because I don't know what it is exactly. But it just smells like um, like a standard like Morello cherry. So I'm guessing that it's some kind of ornamental cherry. What we've got here are a load of acorns that I collected a couple of weeks ago. Unfortunately, I left them. They've dried out and they're no longer viable as seeds. I mean, they might be at a push, but they're not looking great. So I'll chuck them in the bin. I think it's about a month ago now, maybe more, it might be six weeks ago. I was in the Peak District with some friends doing some photography and I found a, a large pine tree with some nice cones. And I just picked the cones up, shook them, Tap them in my hand and all these dropped out so these are scots pine seeds i think the scots pine seeds it's hard to tell the exact kind you know differentiate between pines but you can see these are the seeds some of them are still on the the little wing but you don't need that wing and i suppose what i can do is just rub them like that and all those wings probably drop off. Yeah. And I've got all these seeds that are ready to be planted next spring. This is another batch of Scot Scots pine seeds, but these were, these were got from my local park. So it's a different tree and they seem a bit smaller. So they may perhaps be a different a different seed, you know, a different type of tree. So I'm keeping these ones separate. Yeah for the time being anyway, but I'm going to also plant these up next spring. Next up, we've got these, and <laughs> I've put rubber gloves on because the resin on these is absolutely insane. I picked them yesterday, and when you get that stuff on your skin, you just can't get it off. 
Now, I'm not exactly sure what type of tree it is. This is the leaf or the, the needles. But it's a beautiful tree. There's loads of them in my local park. They're an ornamental tree. But what I love most is the way they break up. So check this out. They just spiral off. And each one of these is a seed. How crazy is that? So as I go through, look, it's just full, full of seeds. And the seeds, I presume, well, they are, they're there. That's a seed. And it's just full of them. So I've got absolutely rakes of these seeds now. How I separate them all from these husks, I'm not sure. I presume I can just throw it all, mix all this in with some compost, you know, and the seeds will just sort themselves out. I, you know, I don't think I need to go through each individual one. <laughs> it's great fun. I've got so many of these now. I don't know what the heck I'm going to do with them all. Look at them all. It's got hundreds and hundreds of seeds. But I'm going to plant some of these and see what, see if they if they take and if they grow. I've just spent 10 minutes separating the seeds from the husks and it's around about a quarter seeds to three quarter husks. There's still loads of seeds in there, but this is plenty more than enough. I mean, there's literally hundreds and hundreds of seeds there, but hopefully some of these take and I get some interest in uh, material in the very distant future. <laughs> Next up, we've got larch cones. And I've never collected larch before, but I presume that you just, I presume the seeds are just in here. These cones do have seeds in them, but they're not quite ready yet to come out. So what I think I need to do is, I'll just see if I can get one out. Ah, there. That's a large seed there. So they are only small, and they're, they are in here. What I need these to do is these to expand and dry out, and then the seeds will drop out. So I can't collect these yet. I'll just put these in a in a dry place, uh, in some kind of Tupperware, and let them uh, let the seeds drop. Now for the rest of the bag. What have we got in here? There's a few more larch cones, acorns, and hawthorn. Looks nice, that, doesn't it? Almost looks like a, a pie filling. Wouldn't be very tasty, though. So first of all, I'll just take out these, these larch cones. They can go with the others. And then it leaves us with the hawthorn and the acorn. And as you can see, some of these acorns, they've already started splitting and germinating, which is great. So these need to go straight in the soil today. So I've got a mixture of Ones that have started to germinate like this and other ones like this that are not quite there yet. And I'm going to be sending some of these over to America with some of my other seeds. There's a couple of people over there, Matt and uh, Kevin, who've asked for some English oak. So I'm going to send them some hawthorn and some oak and a few other bits and bobs. And uh, hopefully they'll be able to get some nice material for the future. 
while I'm just sorting these out, what I'd be really interested in is, do you grow from seed yourself? Uh, I'd love to hear whereabouts in the world you are and what seeds you collect and grow and whether they, whether they work for bonsai. I, I presume you can get sort of oaks pretty much everywhere in the world. I don't know. Maybe, maybe you can't, I don't know. I know obviously in America they have the American oak and I'm going to be hopefully getting a few of those acorns sent over in the post. And like I say, I'll send some of the these English oaks or I'm not sure, I think we call it the English oak. I think it's the same as the European oak. I think that's the same tree. But I know I have got a couple of uh, what's the name of them? Turkey oaks. I don't think they're a native tree to the UK. But I've got a few of those and they grow, apparently, they grow like crazy. So, I get the feeling this is one of those moments where anyone who's still watching might be thinking, has my life come to this? I'm watching a grown man separating a load of acorns and hawthorns into separate piles. Where did it all go wrong? <laughs> but I'd say, where did it all start going right? When I was round yesterday collecting, oh, I forgot, there is another tree in here, there's beech. I spent, I spent ages trying to collect a load of beech nuts and they're quite difficult to collect beech, not because there's not many of them, they're everywhere. But they're difficult to collect because you need the correct type of seed. Most of the seeds are empty and they don't actually have a viable seed in them. So you've got to kind of spend ages scratching around on the dirt, <laughs> trying to find viable seeds. So once I've just taken these leaves off these hawthorns, just to clear the area up a bit. I'm going to then sort out the uh, the hawthorns from the beach. So plenty more exciting stuff for you to stay tuned and watch. You know, the excitement hasn't finished yet. <laughs> what will be interesting is when I look back and in YouTube, there's a thing called the retention graph. And what it shows me is it shows me on all my videos at what point the audience leave. So when people decide, oh, I've had enough of this idiot, I'm leaving. I'm going to go and watch some videos of cats. And when I look on this video, it'll be really interesting to see. See what's happening. Oh, I thought they were rose hips there. There were loads and loads of rose hips about when I was collecting yesterday. So I thought I might, I might have uh, collected some by accident, but I didn't. So I've got masses of hawthorns, more hawthorns than I'll ever need. I don't know why I collected that many. But we'll put these into a little pile there. And then amongst these, we've got these beech, beech nuts. I'm going to do a close-up in a minute and show you the difference between a viable beech seed or beech nut and a useless one. As I say, I did spend quite a while trying to collect as many viable ones as I could yesterday. And it's uh, it's not an unpleasant process really. I quite like it. You sort of, you're down there on the floor scratching around in a park and people are looking at you as if like, what's that lunatic doing? Oh, look what I've got there. That's a sweet chestnut seed. So that's a bit different. I'll show you that in a minute. Sometimes you pick things up by accident. I'm kind of stalling a bit now. Let's 
So, the question is, will these, which ones of these seeds will work and what time do I have to plant them? Now, the video that I watched that I said by uh, Yella, oaks have to be planted at this time of year because they, they do germinate in the autumn. But other seeds, you better leave in them. Well, you can still plant them out, but they won't germinate until the spring. So I'm going to plant all of these seeds that I've got and collected out in some soil, apart from the pine seeds, which I prefer to germinate indoors in spring. I had some really, I did a bit of an experiment last year where I tried stratifying some in the fridge. I tried uh, putting some in soil and leaving them in a sheltered area outside. But the, by far the most successful ones were the ones that I planted in compost and left by um, my bedroom window. And they seem to have like a really, a really high success rate. And it was the same with Japanese black pine and Scots pine seeds. Now, I don't have any Japanese black pine seeds this year. I think I might get a few more. You can buy them online in packets. And like I say, Scots pines, I've got loads of them because we have, they're a native species over here, the Scots pines. So you can kind of walk around, find a, a Scots pine tree at the right time of year. And there's just pine cones full of seeds underneath them. It's pretty easy. But Japanese black pine, that's a different thing. I suppose because they don't grow natively, there's not a lot of those Japanese black pines just growing. I wonder if my mum's still watching this. My mum and dad watch me videos. They're not particularly interested in bonsai, but they like to watch me on camera, you know. And, uh, well, I say they're not interested in bonsai. My dad's interested in bonsai. And my mum, without realising it, is getting quite knowledgeable on it as well. But she loves sorting through stuff like this. This is her idea of a fun evening. I should have really... Uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll treat her at Christmas. I'll go and pick up a load of seeds off the park and put them in a bag. Merry Christmas, Mum. <laughs> and people think I'm joking there, I'm not. <laughs> right, so that's those sorted. That was five minutes of absolutely essential viewing. Right, and on his video, Yella talked about the difference between a viable beech seed and a non-viable one, I'm going to show you now. So I'll zoom in. So here, we've got a viable and a non-viable beech seed. This non-viable one just goes flat and crispy and there's nothing inside it. This viable one, as I squeeze it, it's hard and I will break it open. If you look inside it's got the a seed a viable center in it now that won't grow now because I've taken that husk off although I could still try planting it but I don't think that will make it but I've got loads of these and it's now just a question of sorting through my pile discarding those ones feeling these and you can tell you just feel them they just swell because there's a nut inside and you go that's good so you just sort them into the two piles so even though I was trying to collect only viable seeds off the ground on closer inspection I probably collected about 55% viable 45% useless but in reality I would say when you're out there collecting, it's more like one in 10 or one in 15. And this is that little uh, sweet, I think I think it's a sweet chestnut seed. Looks very similar to a beech seed. That's why I've picked it up. 
It seems to have some kind of roots on the end or something. I don't, no, they're not roots. I don't know what they are. But I don't know what you do with that. I presume you just plant it in some soil. Interesting. My favourite tree, the hawthorn, has got these soft, squishy red seeds. And the seed inside is actually quite big. So, I think the idea of hawthorns is birds eat these, because humans can't eat them, I don't think. He birds eat them, then they fly away, and this seed passes through the body of the bird, goes down and germinates in the soil. So I'm going to remove, I don't know how many of these seeds, I don't know if there's an easier way. Oh, perhaps I can use a sieve or something and cut, crush them with a sieve maybe, I don't know. Or do I just do I just manually do them all like that? Seems seems like that will be quite a long job. But then again, how many do I need? These are the questions. These are the bonsai conundrums. I've actually managed to de-seed quite a large percentage of those hawthorns, at least two thirds. Now I'm just going to dump them in the water. Try to wash these seeds off now in some water and hopefully, oh yeah, a lot of that, the soft fruit round, round the seed is coming off in the water making them a lot easier to handle so yeah they're looking a lot better so I've just washed the seeds and they've come out quite nicely I think they just need to be dried off now because I don't want them to rot Although, having said that, I can probably just plant them straight out now, into some soil. But the ones that I'm going to send over to America, I will dry out, because obviously they don't want to rot in transit. So I'll dry some of them out and just and uh, sow some. This part of bonsai might not be as exciting as, you know, chopping off a big trunk or creating a tanuki or doing work on deadwood or whatever, but... I enjoy this stuff just as much, you know, propagating from seeds and cuttings and and then these will give me complete control next year as the seedlings come up, I can uh, put bits of wire on them and, and do whatever I want to do. And I know it's the long haul, you've got to be in for the long haul, you know, this is not something for two or three years, these take 10 years to get anywhere near, but I enjoy it, I hope you've enjoyed it yourself, I hope you get out there and collect yourself some seeds, get them growing, if you've got kids get them planting some in pots and everything and get, I, I love the idea of people being involved in kind of growing trees. So uh, as always, thanks for joining me. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.